The ocean is a dangerous place. For centuries, mariners have battled the power and the fury of the sea. But despite our best efforts, the sea continues to claim lives and wreck ships. But this powerful force is not just a threat to mariners. Many beachgoers have also been claimed by the sea. Even a walk on the beach can quickly become a life-threatening situation. Weather and sea conditions on the beach can rapidly change. Sneaker waves can knock people down or violently throw them against nearby rocks. Once in the water, powerful currents can sweep people out to sea. Rising tides can trap people in coves or on rock formations. And survivors in basket baskets halfway up, baskets for the aircraft. Even seemingly harmless pieces of driftwood resting on the beach can quickly be picked up by an unexpected wave and tossed on top of someone. Spend a few moments now to learn how to stay safe on the beach. Probably the greatest threat on the beach are dangerous rip currents that can sweep people out to sea. Every year, emergency responders rescue more than 16,000 people caught in rip currents. Believe it or not, in an average year, rip currents kill more people than tornadoes, hurricanes, and lightning strikes combined. Some of the most powerful rip currents in the continental United States exist along the shores of the Pacific Northwest. Ocean Shores Police Sergeant Paul Luck explains. A majority of the emergencies that we respond to uh, involve the rip currents or rip tides. What happens is the waves come in and then they, all this water comes in, it has to go back out somewhere. What it ends up doing is funneling into kind of a channel going back out. Now people are playing in the surf or hanging around out there. They wander into one of these currents that's going out, the rip currents, and it pulls them out. And we have to go in after them. June 2003, Sandy Lamont and her husband are at a popular beach when their 11-year-old son Ryan is caught in a rip current. Sandy explains what happened that day. I was at the sink washing some stuff for dinner and the kids came bursting in the door and they said, Mom, Mom, Daddy went in after Ryan. Ryan was stuck and now nobody can find Daddy. And I just, what? And I couldn't believe it. So I rushed out the door and as soon as I got outside, I heard the helicopters. And I saw the crowd of people because we weren't that far from the beach and I knew. So I started running as fast as I can. By the time I got out there, some rescue people were out in the water and I could see two people floating out there. And I could tell that one of them was Larry because um, of his blue trunks and stuff. Um, they got the other man out and they were able to revive him, but it took at least 15 minutes to try to get Larry out and uh, he was gone. If the kids had been trained, to how to handle a rip current if they were to get into one, to float with it and not fight back against it. And if Larry had known this, he would have never tried to swim to Ryan. None of this would have ever happened. Ryan was really easily rescued, as it turned out. And Larry and then another man lost his life trying to save Larry, all for the sake of a lack of knowledge. Here's what to do if you're caught in a rip current. First, remain calm. Don't try to fight the current. That's the worst thing you can do. When you feel the current weaken, swim parallel to the shore and then back to the beach at an angle. You're looking at the power of a sneaker wave. This home video was shot at ocean shores and shows how quickly a wave can engulf the entire beach. These waves can strike beachgoers with incredible force, knocking victims down or throwing them violently against nearby rocks. Commonly what happens during the winter seasons, you'll have crashing waves. It's a beautiful sight for people to come down here. Unfortunately, they make the mistake of trying to get as close to the water as possible. As they get close to it, they get knocked down by the water and you actually get swept out into the surf sometimes. That's the time when the rescue people are called out. And unfortunately, a simple little day in the afternoon, the sun walking on the beach turns into a tragic incident. Tragedy was avoided that day. Everyone on the beach survived the incident and learned just how powerful and unforgiving the ocean can be.
These waves can become even more deadly when they carry or pick up driftwood or logs. Driftwood resting on the beach or floating in the water may look harmless, but when these logs are picked up by the surf, they can easily be tossed on people walking on the beach. It's no joke, logs can kill. Cannon Beach, Oregon. Two men who went for a swim have become stranded on a rock formation. They can't make it back to shore due to strong currents and pounding 55 degree waters. As night falls and the air temperature drops, hypothermia will quickly set in. Beach rescue personnel are on shore, but have determined that a rescue attempt would be far too dangerous. The men were trapped by a rising tide. Tides can move in quickly, stranding anyone on the rocks in a matter of minutes. On the Washington, Oregon coast, tides can rise very quickly, trapping people on rocks or in hidden coves. Uh, once they're there, they can be swept off these rocks by large waves and pulled out to sea in the strong currents in the frigid water. The situation at Cannon Beach has become grave. One of the two men is now unconscious. The second man is growing very weak. However, the victims are in luck. A Coast Guard helicopter has arrived to rescue the men. After moving into position, a rescue swimmer is lowered to hoist the men to safety. Both men were rescued and are fortunate to be alive. The unconscious victim was taken to the hospital and had an extremely low core temperature due to the cold water. If he had remained much longer on the rocks, he most likely would not have survived. It's important not to, to get a false sense of security. Uh, as you walk out on top of a rock, for example, it's important to understand that that tide can come in just as you turn your back, almost. Before visiting the shore, we recommend you consult tide tables, usually available at local hotels or at Coast Guard stations. Along with rock formations, climbing on cliffs and jetties is also very dangerous. These structures are often very unstable due to years of erosion and wet conditions. Also, use caution when you're walking near overhangs or steep cliffs. Loose rocks could fall down on top of you at any time. Our beaches are a scenic treasure to enjoy. We want your visit to the beach to be an enjoyable one. But do so safely. Remember, when you're on the beach, know how to swim out of a rip current. Never swim alone. Stay away from driftwood. Be aware of tidal activity. Watch out for sneaker waves. Be extremely careful near rock formations and cliffs. Never let children play on the beach without supervision. By following these important tips, your visit to the beach will be a safe and enjoyable one. But remember, the ocean is a powerful force to be respected.